You got Blue Nemesis Chevelle back at it again. Doing a little bit of unboxing out here. We got some goody goodies. Got that Holly. Got the turbos in. Got it pretty much in the place where it's going to be at. Got our, our exhaust manifolds custom. We got our down pipes ran to the back. We have our turbos in the position that they're going to pretty much be in. Both sides. We got our waste gates in the position where they're going to be. They're not mounted 100% because we're going to wait to run our boost pipe before we decide exactly where we're going to put this pipe. Same thing on this side. But this side should be a clear cut. It's just going to dump in this hole. And it should be easy. We're going to run the piping and do a U-turn, come back out, go up to the car bed. And that one is coming off because, as you can see, the Holly Sniper has arrived and touched down. All the piping. Quick quick thing on the piping, make sure you get a full kit with all the bins you need, the 90s, the 45, the 180, everything, straight pieces, and all your couplers. Get a complete kit. Not so much worry about which kit it is or what's the name brand. Brand. Only other thing is make sure that the, the thickness of the, the piping itself is not super thin. Make sure you got some thick pipe for boost. Not It's not like this it's a naturally aspirated filter pipe. You need something a little bit thicker. Other than that, just make sure you get all the pieces that you need. The Holly already opened it up. Couldn't wait, you know, like a kid in a candy store. <clears throat> got a manual. Got our electrical components. Relays, fuses. That's to crank trigger or the magnetic pickup can bus USB we're gonna put that to the laptop we got an LCD screen and controller that we're gonna use to set up everything with our all our instructions we'll read over those we got another wiring harness they got eight wires in it we got another wiring harness with protection another eight wires or so we have a water temp sensor we have a fitting clamp on fitting for our O2 sensor and the exhaust to mount it anywhere they even included some little sticky tabs to take it mount your LCD screen and then we open up the box to see the big bad boy yeah let's go to the big bad boy See the big bad boy. Oh, we got our O2 sensor right here. Don't forget about that. The Bosch O2 sensor. Then we'll go to the big bad boy. The Holly Super Sniper Stealth EFI. Eight injectors. Monster stats. You can see in each bore there's the tiny little holes. That's for the injectors. If you notice there's two there's like two rings you can see those are the injector rings there's two of them stacked on each, each bore because this is an 8 injector setup supports 1250 horsepower and right here on the front where you see the Holly Sniper EFI that's the ECU flip it around to the back side it looks almost like a regular carburetor with our throttle linkage but if we look underneath it and you look down there where your bowls would be, Let's see if I get a good angle, you can see those are injectors in there. So you have two injectors on this side on the bottom and two injectors on the top right here. Same thing on that side. Those injectors are in there sideways where these little rings are. And they inject the fuel right in there. Looks pretty cool. I think I've seen a video of it. You got these fit, these little covers. So I say, I'm gonna move one. Right here, should be able to put our fuel lines on real quick. 
We'll put our fuel lines on real quick. We'll mount this bad boy up with our new gasket. You got, it also has some vacuum ports on it on the bottom. It actually has a provision for a kick down switch for 400 transmission and one that I have, the Turbo 400. So I'll get rid of the switch I have on there and I'll connect it to the Holly system. All your wires come out the back. All your wiring is coming out the back here. It's for a stealth install and all your plugs and connectors are all going to be in the back. So when this bad boy is mounted, like so, these wires will be all wrapped in a loom and tucked away behind, behind the engine. Going over by the, t the transmission somewhere where you were really never going to see them. From the front, you're gonna, it's going to look like a holly, except for the electrical over here. So when it's all said and done, this is pretty much the exact look that I like, but with the new technology that I need to make the tuning of these turbos easy as possible. We'll be back with the tuning, and I will go a complete review of Holly's software, how easy it was to install the whole kit, and how easy it is to tune it with the boost. So we'll be back. Like and subscribe. Comment.